Big Head presents Story Rider. The story is based on Big Head's own experience. Narration by Ilana Labarine. Number three, a night that does not dawn. Quit, quit, scam. After waking up from the nightmare of last night's shutdown and 136 views, Misaki turned on his computer, which he did on his usual morning routine. He fearfully went to the original song page that he had uploaded. 138 views. Comments, four. No matter how many times he hit the reload button, the numbers didn't even tick. If I go to bed again, will I wake up from this nightmare? There's often a song that says, There's no rain that doesn't stop, there's no night that doesn't dawn, but this does not apply to Misaki's life. The regrets of yesterday remain today. Today he is reminded of the things he left undone yesterday. Oh, how could I have made such a mistake? Oh, why didn't I say it back then? Why do I have to say that? I wish I had done this. Yesterday is still not over. If Misaki's life were sung, the chorus would be, There is a night that never dawns. There's nothing more wasteful than spending one's energy on something from the past that one can't take back, because no one can take back yesterday. But even if he somehow knew it, he couldn't get out of this negative loop. He wanted to get out of the loop, so he wrote a Vocaloid song. He dared to change his unchanging routine and announced it to the internet. But the numbers are brutal and just remind him again that nothing changes. This is the last time. This will be the last time. Misaki mumbles the usual quit-quit scam again. He does it like he tells himself, Hey, Misaki! Hey, Misaki! A voice calls out to Misaki, who is about to fall asleep in bed in the morning and escape into the dream world once more. Misaki, hmm? Hikaru, are you going to sleep again? I've got a drinking party after work today. Misaki, yeah. Hikaru, there's lunch and dinner in the fridge, so you can heat them up and eat them. Misaki, Hmm? Hikaru, are you going to sleep again? I've got a drinking party after work today. Misaki, yeah. Hikaru, there's lunch and dinner in the fridge so you can heat them up and eat them. Misaki, mmm. Hikaru, all right, I'm off. Misaki, nothing. Her sound disappeared from the room at the same time that the sound of locking the door disappeared. When her cheerfulness disappears from the room, he feels just a little bit lonely. She prepares not only breakfast, but also lunch and dinner before going to work. Hikaru is like a mother to Misaki, but she is his live-in girlfriend. Hikaru leaves the house briskly as she did this morning. Hikaru is brisk and cheerful without complaining about Misaki's lazy life. She doesn't blame Misaki, even if he fakes illness, but she takes care of his body. Hikaru has been encouraging him with a smile, even when he has become disgusted with his favorite music and becoming whiny. She is an irreplaceable presence for Misaki, who has an up-and-down artist temperament. Without her support, he wouldn't have been able to continue his music as far as he has. And yet, still, Misaki mumbles to himself, why don't you tell me to quit music? If Hikaru cried, get a job, I could give up music. Misaki's darkness is so deep that he shifts the blame to the person who understands him the most. He had sunk to the bottom where he couldn't decide for himself or give up on his dreams. And he is back to page one of the beginning. I think I've gone on too long to finish the story I started. I don't know how long this is going to go on. I just wish someone would end it. 
Thank you for listening to my podcast. Please subscribe to my podcast and my music.